I want to talk to you about the quadruped bird dog. This is an exercise that looks pretty simple, but if you know what to think about, you can get a lot more out of it. So the position you start in is hands and knees. So I'm going to get there now. For your hand that's going to go in the air, you want to make a fist. Remember, if you make a strong fist, you irradiate energy into your core, which means strong fist, a little bit more core activation than before. So let's take advantage of that. So one hand is going to be in the air while the opposite foot is in the air, reaching backwards, leading with the heel. Notice it's not up because when I raise up, you see the giant angle in my back? We don't want that. So I'm not gonna go up, I'm gonna go straight back, leading with my heel, my foot will be off the ground, but not by very much, and I'll be making a fist. So with my fist this way and my heel that way, I'm creating tension. But now let's talk about the limbs that are on the floor, or in my case now, the table. With my hand, I'm gonna spread my fingers out widely so I have a wide base of support. I want a lot of contact with the surface. Then I'm gonna to try to grab the surface, but careful not to claw, because then I lost that contact I was just talking about. So my hand will remain flat, but I'm gonna put tension in it like I'm trying to palm a basketball. Then I'm gonna twist in the direction of my pinky. So by creating that rotational torque, notice my hand doesn't actually move, I'm just creating torque that way. I'm gonna tighten some muscles in this area, which again will get my core a little bit better. Opposite of this hand is this foot. So what this foot will do is I'm gonna put pressure into my toes. So now this foot is gonna have pressure through my toes to engage my core. This hand is gonna have grasping and twisting. This hand is making a fist. And, I'm, and then I'm reaching with my heel like that. Then while I do that, I'm gonna breathe twice through my nose. So it's gonna look like this. Then to switch, I lock in my hand, lock in my toe, create that tension, then switch sides. Two breaths, lock it in, use it. lock it in, use it, and so on. So when you do the quadruped bird dog, the idea is that even though you're only moving your own body through space, you should actually get a little bit tired because you're working so hard to generate tension. Train your body how to create that protective tension, and then you'll start to get it reflexively after that and feel better with all the things you do.